Hello everyone, Betty Moora here. In another episode, this day I would like us to discuss um, how to be more productive in the year 2019. But before then, I also want to say that I'm the author of this wonderful book. It's called the Activate and Monetize Your Potential book. This book, I did it for those of us with a lot of ideas. We have um, expertise that we have gained from our work environment we have a lot of potential within us but we haven't figured out how to make that potential work for us how to turn that potential into a product or a service that we can sell and make a living out of it so if you'd like to know how to convert this is the book you can buy it from www.betimuara.com you can either order a hard copy or a soft copy now We'd also like to announce that if our videos are useful to you, if you find some value in what we are doing, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's called Coach Betty Moura. And you know, you'll be the first one to know when we have a new video. So can we go back now to discussing how to make our 2019 more productive? I know we discussed success habits and I know and I hope and pray that you are already putting into action what we talked about uh, in part one and in part two. However, we are coming to the end of January and then we'll get into February. If we are not careful, we'll find ourselves in December having done nothing for the year. So how can we make 2019 more productive? I want to share five tips and here we go. So tip number one, I would say get out of your own way. Just get out of your own way. Many times, nobody stops us except ourselves. We get into our own way. And how do we do that? We get into our own way by allowing that inner critic within us to keep talking to us, to keep discouraging us, to keep you know, telling us that we are not good enough and uh, reminding us of our past failures. There's that inner critic there's that, you know, I like saying there's a, there's a committee that meets in our heads once in a while. And that committee, when it is in that head, this is what it says. You know, Betty, you are not good enough. You know, there's a better, better person in the industry. You know, you failed this and this time. And that committee will tell you bad things if you allow it. And if that happens, you know, if you are, you are, if you are your own critic, you will never be able to move. So this 2019, for you to be more productive, kick that committee out. I mean, raise the rent and tell the committee to leave because you are your own encourager. You are your own, the captain of your own ship. And if you allow that in a critic, you're not going to be productive because you're going to be moving 10 steps forward. Then the inner critic comes in and whispers to you and tells you you're not going to make it. Who do you think you are exactly and where do you come from? So you take 10 steps forward and then you take 15 backwards. And of course you lose hope and that is not good. So number two uh, point that I would like to share to make our 2019 more productive is to be, be more strategic than you are tactical. What do I mean? I mean, I've had clients who are running businesses. They are the CEOs, they are the managing directors, they are the owner of the business. However, they are spending 80% of their time doing tactical things and only 20% of their time doing strategic things that give their businesses 80%. I know we talked about a book. Let me look for it. Um, this book, the 80-20 Pareto Principle. I hope you bought it for those who watched the video. If you didn't, I'd be sad. And this is what we said. It would be more strategic if as a CEO, as owner of the business, as the director in that business, you spent 80% of your time doing strategic things that bring you I mean, good business that bring you 80% results. Instead of using all your time on 20% tactical thing, using 80% of your time on 20% tactical things that only bring you 20% results. What do I mean? I mean this, do not use your dollar time for penny activities. If you have a budget and it allows don't hold on to every penny. Get someone to help you 
with what it is you are not very good at. What do I mean? Betty here, I like developing content. I like speaking. I like training. I like coaching. If I spent all my time organizing files, doing reports, going to the post office, I don't know, printing papers, then that's not going to be strategic for me. That's, that's really tactical. I know there are some CEOs running up and down doing things that they can afford to pay somebody else to do. So could you spend, I mean, be more strategic in 2019 than more tactical? What are some of the strategic things we can do? Building relationships. For an owner of a business, building relationships is more important than sitting in the office and, you know, just looking for some things to do, like report. Build more relationships. Talk to those people that matter. Go and visit your clients physically. That makes more sense than, you know, doing uh, tactics tactical things that will not be very helpful for you. If you're a manager of a team and you are busy going down to the level of your, you know, uh, reportees and you are busy now taking up their jobs, instead of being strategic and helping your team perform better, think twice so that you can make your 2019 a better year. Point number three, declutter occasionally. I mean, declutter oftenly, not occasionally, declutter oftenly. Uh, during our last video, we talked about the space, you know, home space, office space, work environment. Do you know that your work environment really affects your mood and how you feel about work that particular day? So some of us, we are holding on to things that we no longer use. You are holding on to clothes that you've not worn for the last one year, really. And I don't know what we are waiting for so that we can be able to donate those clothes. So you, your wardrobe is full, you waste time in the morning trying to look for a jacket because it's full and you're wasting time. Could you kindly donate those things and leave your wardrobe clean because you have no time. 80% of your time should be used on strategic things, not tactical things like looking for a jacket. You get my point? So declutter, the clothes give out. Books, um, um, on the books bit, I'm sad because I like to hog my books and keep them and hold them. But once in a while, it's important. Those books that you no longer need, give them out. Utensils, electronics. Some of us, we had the old TV. Now we, we, we even got the flat screen. Now we have a cupboard, ones. And all of them are in the house. And you no longer watch them. Can you kindly, you know, declutter so that your space is good and you can breathe in and breathe out in your own house and in your own office. There's another thing we need to declutter. Declutter your inner person. Those relationships you are holding on and they are not useful to you anymore. Let them go. There are people who messed you up when you're growing up. Your brothers and sisters, your parents, your uncles and aunties. You still feel, I mean, you still feel terrible when you see them. Declutter, forgive them, just move on. I mean, declutter those things that, you know, you, you messed up five years ago, ten years ago, you made a decision that wasn't good, and you allow that decision to keep bringing you down. If you want to be more productive in 2019, just declutter those things that do not matter anymore. Forgive people quickly. Love faster. I mean, this journey, it's, I mean, it's tough, especially if you're having a lot of clutter. You're carrying a lot of clutter. Uh, number four point, I would say that you schedule, you schedule time, schedule some quiet time for yourself. It could be very early in the morning, it could be late in the evening, you could carve out an hour during the day. But if you want to be more productive, you cannot be working bang, bang, bang. Every minute you're busy running up and down. Every second you're busy chasing after things, after money, after something. It's important. I, for the people I coach, we always develop a morning routine. During that morning routine or an evening routine, I don't know what works best for you. Schedule some quiet times. If you do not schedule, it is never going to happen. So schedule time. Why do we schedule quiet time? Number one, to pray. For those of us, I know any one of us believes in some higher being. For me, I believe in God. And so I'll schedule time to pray, to speak to my father, and to ask for wisdom. This journey is tough. And if I know I have a covering somewhere, then I'm happy. So schedule time to pray, be quiet, meditate, 
you know, read. If you do not schedule time to read, then you can be sure you're not going very, very far. I would also say that you must schedule time to think. We never, we never, okay, let me use the word think many times. We never think that thinking is work. By the way, thinking is work and thinking strategically for that matter. You need to schedule time to pause and listen. To pause and smell some flowers. To pause and drink some coffee. Or even to pause and think. By the way, if you learn the art of thinking strategically in your quiet time, you'll be very grateful. And your 2019 is going to be very productive. And point number five that I would like to share is invest in your own personal development. Jim Rohn said that uh, success, if, if you do not, I want to rephrase what he said, but he said uh, your success is equally proportional to the amount of personal development that you do. If you do not uh, invest your money in personal development, if you think that books are too expensive, you think coaching programs are too expensive, you think training for your staff members is too damn expensive, try ignorance. It's worse. It will waste your time. It will waste your people. It will waste your opportunities. And above all, you're going to get stuck for year 2019, yet you knew it. So I would say for the year 2019, schedule your personal development, get a coach, get a mentor, read, invest in things that are useful for your brain, for your mind. The level of your, I mean, your mind keep expanding it. We said even if you expand it to 100 times, it will always expand more. So you get to a new level and that becomes your new normal so from your new normal you expand again so you must spend time some time developing yourself and doing personal development it's very important so i want to share those ones for today kindly subscribe to our youtube channel invite friends invite our relatives and invite um, everybody that cares about some personal development and we'll be glad uh, if you do that so thank you very much i'll see you in the next video